When a change of government occurred in January 2017, a certain cabal, for lack of a better word, that is associated with Winneba, saw this as an opportunity to change principal officers of the University of Education, Winneba. After acting as lawyer for the victims of this move, I can only conclude that the only real reason for their removal was ethnocentric. So Vice Chancellor Avoke, Finance Officer Akoli, and bearers of similar such names had to go. What we need to remember is that the Supreme Court will deliver a judgment on UEW just next month, and that judgment could hold that Professor Avoke remains the Vice Chancellor of the University of Education Winneba, and that his purported removal by the Winneba High Court is improper, and the appointment of a new Vice Chancellor is also illegal, and that various officials, including the purported new Vice Chancellor, are in contempt of court and should be locked up in jail for hundreds of actions they have taken since the start of these matters. Why can't the University Council and the President allow the courts to decide just next month so that if their candidate wins the case, they can do thousand installations for him next month?